Now that we have a good understanding of what a decoupler is and how it's used, let's spend a few minutes discussing how you choose which of Dairyland's product families to use. We'll start with the five most commonly used products, the PCR, SSD, OVP, OVP2, and the PCRH. For most corrosion industry applications, you'll end up selecting one of these units. Here I've grouped these five products into boxes based on their capabilities. In the first set of boxes, we have products that are suitable for use in locations where induced AC voltage is present. The second set of boxes contains product for use where AC induction is not present. Breaking them down further, we've grouped these products based on their hazardous location rating. First, let's look at the two main groupings which deal with the product's capability to carry steady state AC current, typically to address AC induction issues. The first grouping shows products that are able to address the steady state induced AC current. The general rule of thumb when selecting a product is to consider if there is measurable induced AC present now or if it's likely to be present in the future. If so, choose a product in this first grouping, such as the SSD, PCR, or PCRH, all of which are appropriately configured to handle steady state AC. If in doubt, Assume that induced AC could be present in the future. I urge you to have this selection be your default to assure correct product operation under all conditions. There's no harm in selecting one of these products capable of AC mitigation, even if there's no induced AC present, as the product will work correctly for this condition. If you're dealing with an application with no induced AC present, such as an airport jet fuel pipeline, one of the OVP products could be used. Again, the important item to consider is whether or not the site has the potential to have induced AC. If the answer to this is yes, be sure to plan accordingly. An incorrect selection for this characteristic could result in the device conducting CP current when you expected it to block CP. This is due to the induced AC voltage forcing the device into, the sw into switching into the full conduction mode. So think carefully about this topic. Now let's go back to our original chart and talk about hazardous locations. All electrical products rated for use in a hazardous environment are assigned some classification rating. All Dairyland products are rated for addressing flammable gases and vapors, which are designated by the industry as a Class 1 condition. Within this Class 1 designation, we further subdi subdivide the rating into two different risks called divisions, or zones in other parts of the world. Products rated Division 2 or Zone 2 are suitable for use in those classified areas. This classification, Div 2 or Zone 2, implies that explosive gases and vapors are not normally present. Products with a classification of Div 1 or Zone 1 are rated for higher risk explosive environments where flammable gases and vapors are deemed to be more commonly present or there's a higher risk. You can see from these product images the difference between the two classifications and its results in the two different kinds of product construction. A site could also be an ordinary location having no expected hazards. All major Dairyland products for pipeline applications carry at least a Div 2 or Zone 2 certification since this is so typically needed, but it could be used in ordinary locations. The majority of sites tend to be ordinary or Div 2 or Zone 2 locations. However, it's very important that you understand the site classification of your project prior to selecting a product. Locations that tend to be Div 1 or Zone 1 locations could include refineries, airport fueling systems, gas processing plants, or other locations where explosive gases are vented. Using this chart, you can easily select a product family based on these two criteria. An AC mitigation project, for example, typically uses a Div 2 or Zone 2 product, resulting in a choice between the PCR and the SSD. Both of these products can be used by default for most applications, if it's a Div 2 or Zone 2 site. For applications that do not involve induced AC, such as insulated joints within airports or plants, the OVP or OVP2 can be used. Dairyland does offer some additional products for specific purposes not covered in this video. 
Contact Dairyland if you have a power utility or special application, or visit our website at dairyland.com. In addition to this video, the Dairyland website contains a product selection tool, which can be used to determine the product family for your application. Beyond selection of a product family, we do need to ultimately select specific ratings suitable for an application, which will result in a particular Dairyland model number to order. This topic is handled in the next presentation.